<laughs> howdy, howdy. Here we are. We are in Queensland in, in what feels like the middle of nowhere. And we're doing something different today. We're hunting for mad crabs. And around home, I can't drop pots in, uh, in at my local, so I'm so excited to try and get some mud crabs for the first time. We've, uh, we've come a long way up this creek. Apparently there's like wild horses on places up here. Uh, it just feels so cool. The good thing about Queensland too is you can drop four pots in per person. So that's what I'm gonna do. And uh, we're gonna drop them in different places. And I'm so excited to see if we can get one. Pop these on. These look a bit new, don't they? All right, it's turning into crab pot now. I am excited. That is my crab pot, four inch crab pot. Crab pots, the crabs should uh, smell the bait in there. We're gonna use mullet. They should climb up here, pop in, and there you go. Oh no, I just lost my ring. It's trapped something already. <laughs> no, I got it, it's on the ground. Oh, thank God. It's all good. If you're anything like me, then you like trying new things. So let's just get these in the water and see what happens. Really feeling that uh, Queensland sun. So what we got is uh, mullet. We're gonna do two of them. So just gonna cut these mullet in half, like so. Here it is, so you just undo it like this. Bob's your uncle. Yeah, we got the crab pot open. And basically what I'm hearing we want is, this is the, uh, it's gonna hold me bait here. Put that through. And we wanna hold it, uh, hold the bait in the middle. And I'll explain why in a second. Okay, so bait's in the middle. People might have other theories, but apparently, you know, if it's in the middle, then they actually have to crawl through through here and they'll drop in. If they're on the side, then they'll just, you know, kind of chew it, the, the bait on the side. So that's one pot done. I'm just gonna finish the rest of these, but let's go find some uh, mangroves to drop these in at. We've come up this creek, check it out. It is just, there's nothing around. You can see fish jumping. We can, we can see crabs all over the river, river bank here. So it's looking good. I like this little patch here where it drops down. There's a, a, uh, a fallen over tree there. So I'm gonna chuck it in here. Here we go. It's probably gonna stick out of the water. So it's dead low. Beautiful. <laughs> No, that's good. So basically it's dead low now. The tide's gonna come up and swallow that. And then hopefully, I'll have a mud crab in it. But in, in the meantime, we're gonna be uh, probably going swimming, checking out these mud flats, maybe even looking for mud, cra mud crabs and uh, seeing what's around. Cause yeah, there's so much around this place and then later on we'll check them. And uh, that's gotta be the most exciting part about mud crab fishing is the, the anticipation. So anticipate it. Yeah, that'll be alright. Okay, onto the mud. Oh, it's not too bad. Right, you hop. Look at this, in the middle of nowhere. Oh, yep, sure. <laughs> right, I just picked up one of those crabs I was talking about and I just got done by it on the pinky bleeding a bit but are you really yeah yeah um he got me good and then i just went again of course um and found it okay so this is what they look like they have one huge claw okay so he's got another claw on the other side just another little pincer there um but then he's just got this huge claw like what is that if anyone knows what that is please like comment it or whatever i don't know what these baby baby crabs are but they're pretty epic hey man Pulled up to this beautiful island that's behind us. Jump in, refresh up, bloody hot, and um, yeah, have a look around. It's sand, no more mud. <laughs> I'm swimming in water like this for forever. In Sydney, it's crazy. Made it onto the island, just gonna check it out for a hot minute. Just us, not a person in sight. Well, 
that was fun. I ripped a hole in my pants. Um, and we're gonna go check these crab pots. So we're gonna head up this river here, up to the mangroves, up to the mud flats, and go check them. Is it my? I'm <laughs> so. Oh my god. <laughs> Tali just asked, is it mud flaps or mud flats? Oh, uh, I wish I didn't have to answer that question. Apparently you've been saying what? Mud flaps. <laughs> <laughs> the mud flaps. Okay, let's go to the mud flaps. Come on, let's go. Stay. Let's go to the mud flaps. <laughs> Step on the tabby. Okay, what we've done is, to try and maximize opportunity uh, to get a mud crab, we've chucked them in all different types of locations. We've chucked two at the mouth to this little creek, then we've chucked one in a really like deep as uh, secluded river, and then one just a bit further up again in a bit more of an open area. So, I don't know, fingers crossed. Check. There's two here that we're checking. Here we go. You got a crabby! Did I? Hey, little muddy. Little tiny muddy. There you grab my other back legs there. Man, a big one would just be crazy. <laughs> Alright, there you go, my first little mud crab. I was so excited just to see this in the net, man. Like, I, I feel like I just today or and previous times hunting them, I just felt like mud crabs are like these mystical creatures, like dewfish, you just Think they don't even exist. That's why I was just so excited to see it. That's definitely an undersized mud crab. So we'll put him back. Man, so exciting to see. <laughs> I'm so pumped. Now maybe we're actually gonna see him. I was thinking it's gonna be donuts today, but never know. Let's let's put him in. There you go. <laughs> Alright, last pot. Here we go. That's it folks. That's all of them. <laughs> That's all right, um, it's all good. Nah, no, just trying to be positive, you know? You come out here, you try so hard. <laughs> all right, um, I'll drop these back in and um, we'll check them. And next time we're checking them, it's gonna be on. Okay, it's the next morning now. We're just about to pull up and it is beautiful morning. The, the water's flat, the sun is hot, the vibes are high. Wait! Oh! No way! Did we get one? I was just pulled it up like, oh, okay, we're not gonna find one. Oh my god, look at his claw, please. You're, you're gonna. Oh, that is huge! <laughs> the claw on it is freaking huge! I thought you were a mystical beast that I was never gonna find, oh never gonna see. My god. But there you go. Okay, we've just been to three other pots and the. the the, mud, the, the mullet had been like bitten out of them, we're like, but the pot, and so like there's something been in there eating it, but the pot was clean as a baby's bottom. And so we're like, okay, it's been raided, we sent other boats around, so I was just coming up to this like, nah, no way, there's not gonna be anything in it. But holy crap! <laughs> Tali is scared that I'm gonna get bitten, this is my first big mud crab I'm picking up. Oh, his claw is freaking huge, mate! Come on, doggy. Man, that would... That would absolutely axe you if you got bitten by that. That is an absolute beast. You saw how excited I got yesterday on that tiny mud crab. Well, oh my god, I am pumped. Holy hell, that is huge. Look at that thing. Oh my gosh, I, I, I just, I can't even. <laughs> You know, like, I fully thought these things were mythical creatures. I was like, been looking for them at home for a while, and now up here, and finally got one. Look at that. Wow, mate. I'm lucky because I have my own personal measuring kit. Uh, this is 15 centimeters on me. Uh, my thumb's up to the bottom, to the top of the thumb. And, uh, yeah, well and truly legal there. So, yeah, he's a good one. Good buck. And um, that, that claw there, I just... Uh, I can't believe it until you see it in real life like I can't believe how big they are and how strong they are like that is truly intimidating these guys are just absolute king of the mud here I, I really really appreciate this guy and he's gonna cook up really nicely so I appreciate you mate thanks for your food okay he's obviously lost the claw in his battles but one claw that's good for me um, okay next thing we have to do is check if he's male or female you can't keep females okay the uh, triangle there that's a female so we better put him back I'm joking <laughs> it's a male it's a male. 
So we can keep that. Did you get scared? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone at home's like, no, what's he doing? I want so many videos. Yeah, no. Um, that is coming home for us for dinner. We are so keen to cook it up. Oh man, like, okay, okay, let's just, let's vlog this. I don't eat much bought not caught seafood at all. Uh, especially, yeah, when I go out, I don't buy it. So I've never had mud crab. I literally never had it because I haven't caught it. And now I've caught it and I'm gonna try it. We have so many recipes we'd love to try for, the, for mud crab, but for the first one, we gotta enjoy it the way we think is gonna really maximize the flavor. So I'll see you there when we are enjoying it. I am pumped. All right, he's ready to go in. Let's drop him in. Uh, he's been on ice for, for ages now, so he's fallen asleep and he's not going to get that, that scream or, or seize up or anything like that. And that's not very nice. Surprising, I only need to leave him on for half an hour or an hour. I find we craze and I guess crabs as well. So um, yeah, he's all good to drop in. Oh, his chickens are making a noise. All right. All right, in he goes. And mate, when you don't have salt water accessible, you just chuck your bit of your own salt in. And that helps the flavor a lot. Um, I do that for craze and stuff. Yeah, it's nice. So, do that. Oh, look how red it is. It's so red. Yeah, just indulge me for a second while we're on the topic of mud crabs. Don't you reckon every mud crab YouTube video seems to be like a huge, massive, monster, big mud crab? Like, are there any average sized mud crabs out there? So we're gonna call this an average crustacean right here. No, he's actually a pretty big butt. Like that, 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 that claw on him. It's like, he's like Thor, with that one claw. So I don't actually know what to do. Maybe, monster mud crab right here. Maybe we should do that. Uh, anyway, just rambling to myself, I realize. Let's get this monster mud crab out. He just started floating. Does that mean he's ready? Look at him. He was so brown. And now he is so red. I think he's ready. Let's get him out. All right, here we are. My first mud crab ever. Gonna taste it. So excited. A good mud crab at, at, at that. And uh, yeah, look at that claw. Uh, we want to crack it. <laughs> See, that's why you don't do that. <laughs> Let's put the... Uh, Tail over it, and yeah, you give it a good whack like that. Can you just break it? Yeah. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. <laughs> it squirted on me. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna taste this lollipop with the lemons. It's the only thing I'm gonna put on it. Here we go. You put something on that? You put something, you put something on that, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what the hell, man. I am, um, there's like, it's like there's something on it. There's some sort of mud crab flavor on it. What is that flavor? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, but you have crab all over your face. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> wow. Oh my god. That is all it's cracked up to be and more. I cannot believe that. That's got to be like one of the nicest things I've had out of the ocean ever. Well, I actually looked it up. They, they, some people call the species giant mud crab and, and for a reason. Massive claw. Are you sure? Oh my god, that's good. I'm so surprised how good that is. I thought people were, you know, putting it on kind of thing. <laughs> there you go. We need those uh, crackers. Mm -hmm. But when it's your first time mud crabbing and you don't know crap and you're still learning, you don't have anything. Pull that flat back. Okay, that's where the guts are, the gills. And the crab meat under it. I'm so grubby right now, but I love it. Imagine one with two two claws. Oh. Back legs. Ooh, they're good. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's good. Mm-mm. 
<clears throat> all right, we'll, we'll uh, probably keep picking at this all night. So nice. Uh, my crabs are like all I thought it was and more. I cannot believe how good it is. I can I understand now. I understand. We're going to keep going for mud crabs, eh? We're going to go for more and we're really keen to try more recipes. Like on this time, Tyler was like, please, like let's, let's do some... Some crazy recipes but i was like nah first one let's just enjoy it how it is and then we can go crazy so if you want to see more of that then do subscribe and uh, if you want to see it right away then ring that bell but regardless i will see you for an adventure in a hot minute <gasps> <laughs>